we set up Lives Not Knives mainly because we saw there was a need. Within this space of uh, six days, we had three fatalities in Croydon and another four young people that had been stabbed. That was the starting point of us saying we'll do something about it. But my daughter had lost two friends to knife crime as well. For her and her friends, they thought this was a normal way of life. Lives Not Knives is a charity. It's about helping young people with uh, their chance in life, really. Usually they've had some complication, i.e. they may have just dropped out of school or joined gangs. Deprivation, anything that could have happened. It's just a time for them to walk through the doors of LNK and for us to say, OK, let's start again and let's see where we can go from here. Wilmot Dixon has always um, been interested in giving back to the community ever since it was established um, way back in 1852. We want to make a difference to people's lives as well and make sure that um, we, do, we do good for the, for the community and for society, we add social value. So we established the, the Foundation Trainee Challenge, this is the third year it's run to encourage the management trainees to really get involved but it also gives them an opportunity to get involved in things that they probably wouldn't otherwise do. I've always worked in Croydon since being with Wilmot Dixon so kind of wanted to do something local to where I'd been working, give back to a region I knew we'd done a lot of work in. It was only going to be a really small project, it was just going to be sort of helping a charity, doing a bit of DIY to help them make somewhere look pretty. We thought we'd set up um, an actual building where they could try different trades, do the courses they needed to do, but um, it all went a bit disastrous, we lost the building. But we had raised awareness of, of the programme a lot. We had over 200 volunteers that were going to come and help renovate the property. What I liked about Sarah's approach to this was her original plan didn't work, but she kept at it. How I, I believe in this as a as a thing. I believe in what this can achieve, so how can we assist? What can we do? That hasn't worked, but what might we do? And still being questioning and still pushing forward has, has been the difference to making this achievement come true. The programme did continue. We still did the English, Maths and Health and Safety from their unit in Croydon. And we thought the only thing that's missing is the real life skills. We thought, let's just put them onto site. Let's put them in the real world. Getting to know everyone can be quite a challenge because obviously there's a lot of people on the site. When I first went there it was very nerve wracking but when they introduced me and the way they welcomed me made me feel much more comfortable. I was with you know, people, plumbers, electricians, so I was working with them. I'm more confident than before. Being an electrician doesn't just mean you're just going to be working with wires all day. Actually, you need to know about plasterboard and carpentry and loads of other skills. They go in depth with what they teach you at Wilmot Dixon and it's a really good experience. One of the things we did was on site we gave them all a mentor. So every time they turned up, even if they went out and worked with ten different people, they had one person to come back to every time and say, I love that, I hated that, or whether it was working or if there were any problems. What I felt was good about the Wilmot Dixon offer was it was tangible, it was real, it was practical, it was vocational. The boys were getting the opportunity to be part of a site, a working site. It was an aspirational environment. The boys could look and think, I want to be part of this. And, that, and that, it was very effective from that perspective. For us to be able to put them on a study programme, then into an apprenticeship, for them to think, yes, I am definitely going to get a job. And it's for a lifetime. It's a skill they're going to learn for a lifetime. It's incredible. Sarah's been the, 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 the core link. She's been brilliant. But, but just as, he, as important was in the sense that her passion and enthusiasm that she showed was shared by all her colleagues. And I think she was a great, uh, for spreading the word out there, it's as if we were introduced to a project which, which invited us. And I'm sure a lot of that's down to Sarah's work. And at the same time, I can sense that she's passionate about the outcomes for the young people in turn as well. So it's made a phenomenal difference. I think Sarah really knows what she wants. Um, she's realised she can make change. She's earned respect. 
and she can make things happen. So I see her as a real catalyst now, as someone that actually can see a bit of vision and knows how to get there. And to achieve those ideas through others is particularly skillful um, because it is about getting people to follow you. And that in itself is true leadership. Seeing them from the first day that I met them, how shy they were, they barely wanted to speak to me. And to see them get up in front of such a large group of people and be so confident about themselves and be proud of themselves. To see them go for someone that wasn't sure they were worthy of a job to someone that knows they deserve one and they've worked really hard. And they're, they're different people to where they were at the beginning to where they are now. And I think that's really wonderful to have seen. I'm very proud of them. Wilmot Dixon have helped change the lives of so many young people going forward. They're actually going to change their life forever by offering them an apprenticeship which is a skill that they will take them um, through their entire lives. That will enable us to grow the programme. So many young people will benefit from this um, and for that partnership of Wilmot Dixon and Lives Not Knives, the life chances um, of these young people will be changed, a huge change.